built by wisdom is a house built proverbs 14 says by wisdom is a house built and the jude 120 says building up yourself on your most holy faith praying in the holy spirit you just don't build a house you need the wisdom of god and by understanding it is established and knowledge by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches a wise man is full of strength it's not talking about the strength that comes when you go to the gym it's talking about the power of the holy spirit within you a wise man is full of strength and the man of knowledge enhances his mind for by wise guidance you can wage your war and in abundance of counselors there is victory but wisdom is too high for a fool in the gates it does not open his mouth verse 10 proverbs 24 and if you faint in the day of adversity you lack that strength your strength is small remember we are talking about praying in the spirit and this scripture is talking about you being built up and you cannot get built up without praying in the holy spirit i'm going to be showing you a few scriptures before we go into prayer and i said all through this season i'm going to be preparing you so that whenever we begin fasting i want you to dedicate every day in the fast one hour you can break it down or you can do it one time find a time begin to pray about it in the day where all you do is you pray in the holy spirit because you want to know the mind of god for your life it is during that time that god will whisper to you during this season you are not imposing on god during the season you want to hear god what would you have me do where would you have me go should i continue working there should i go into this um, area of business should i do ministry should i relocate this is the season where you are saying lord should i continue with what i am doing i'm engaged lord is this the will of god for my life this is the season that god is going to speak to you but you will need to learn to pray in the spirit god wants us to pray with all prayers ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18 the bible says with all prayer and petition pray with specific request at all times on every occasion and in every season in the spirit philippians 4 7 says do not be anxious or worried about anything but in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific request known to God. And the peace of God, that, that peace which reassures your heart, that peace, that's the peace, the one the Spirit gives to everyone which transcends all understanding that peace which stands guard over your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus will be yours but see this Romans 8 26 the Bible says in the same way the Spirit comes to us and helps us in our weakness Romans 8 26 the Spirit helps us in our weakness we do not know what to pray for as we ought to we do not know what prayer to offer or how to offer it as we should but the Spirit himself knows our need and at the right time intercedes on our behalf with sigh and groanings too deep for words and he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the spirit is because the spirit intercedes before god on behalf of god's people in accordance with god's will that first corinthians 14 2 
for one who speaks in an unknown tongue does not speak to people but to God. For no one understands him or catches his meaning, but the Spirit, by the Spirit, he speaks mysteries, secret truth, hidden things. And that's why Paul says in verse 14 and 15, the same 1 Corinthians chapter 2. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unproductive. So for those that say, I don't like speaking in tongues because I don't, I want to know what I'm speaking. I'm praying. No, that is having a control spirit. You want to control everything. Even what is done in the spirit, you cannot do that. You're controlling everything in your house. You're controlling everything in, in your life. You're controlling the life of your partner. You're controlling everybody in your business. Now you want to control the Holy Spirit. That's not happening, especially in prayers. When you're praying in the spirit, your mind is uh, unproductive. And Paul says, I... He says, then what am I to do? I will pray with the Spirit. Paul was saying, my mind is unproductive. I don't think I like this so much. He said, then what am I to do? I will pray with the Spirit that's by the Holy Spirit that is within me. And I will pray with the mind using words I understand. I will sing with the Spirit by the Holy Spirit that is within me. And I will sing with the mind using words. I understand that is Paul talking about the way he prays. How have you been praying? I know you've been praying in the understanding. For those of us that have been baptized in the Holy Spirit and we can speak in tongues, what the devil does is it tells you, you know what, you don't have to speak in tongues. I was, you know, it will tell some people, you know what, you don't even understand it. Maybe it's the devil talking through you. Don't let the devil dissuade you because he knows he doesn't have the secret. It doesn't know what you're speaking. Only the Spirit of God and knows the mind of God knows what you're speaking when you pray in the spirit of the Lord the Lord speaks it's not you speaking it's speaking what you need first Corinthians chapter 2 9 to 16 so I just finished reading first Corinthians chapter 14 verses 2 14 and 15 now first Corinthians 2 9 to 16 this is very interesting but as it is written, what no eyes have seen, no ear heard, no heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. Even though no eye has seen it and no ear you know, heard it and no heart has imagined it, but God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. You will never know what God has prepared for you except through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except the Spirit of that person, which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Mm. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might understand the things that are freely given us by God and we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom but taught by the spirit interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual Listen to this, verse 14. We're reading 1 Corinthians 2. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. And he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually deserved. The spiritual person judges all things, but is in himself to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? but we have the mind of Christ. This is talking to those who have received the Holy Spirit and who can now speak or pray in tongues. I'm not talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit now. The Bible says, because one of them is prophecy, according to 1 Corinthians 14, it says anyone 
that prays in the spirit is speaking mysteries to God. Anyone that prophesies and edifies himself, but anyone that prophesies edify it the church first corinthians 14 read from verse 1 when god says desire prophecy one two four so you can understand that there are differences it may sound the same way but when you're praying in the spirit is different from when you're prophesying when you're praying the spirit you're edifying yourself you're building up yourself on your most holy faith. You are letting the Holy Spirit, who knows the mind of God, to pray the will of God for your life. The enemy will fight it. But you know what? You can't pray for a long time if you do not pray in the Spirit. You, when you're praying in the Holy Spirit, you can pray for hours. You wouldn't even know that you're praying you know, for hours. You look at time and you will be amazed because you are neck deep into the spirit into the realm of the spirit and you're bringing the will of god down here on earth i said during this fasting season i want you to be able to walk in the instruction of the almighty god i want you to walk in the will of god that is my desire for you but i cannot do that for you if you are not in the spirit and I said, please, while we are fasting, that is not the time to be filled with alcohol. <laughs> Don't be drunken on wine, but be filled with the spirit of God. I, I encourage those that are around me, you don't know what to drink. Don't, don't also drink things that, you know, will uh, compromise your health. Try your best to, to, to not to put anything in your body, your soul, and your spirit. Don't, don't listen to things that are not edifying. During the fasting, you're fasting of things that are not you know, glorifying. You're guarding your heart diligently for out of it are the issues of life. That's not time to be listening to secular music. And you say, well, they're not saying things that are profane. Yes, they're not saying things that are profane, but the inspiration is not by the Holy Spirit. So you want to guard. The enemy will find every avenue to reach out to you. It will find every avenue to get into you. I am not saying every secular music is not inspired by God. What I'm saying is, since you do not know, which is which just stick to the one you know it's your responsibility to guard your heart diligently because out of it are the issues of life don't say well it doesn't matter everything matters and stop acting like you don't understand that we are in a spiritual warfare your rising up is a warfare that god won the victory for you if the enemy had his way you will not be alive and you will not be well Put on the whole armor of God. God wants you to guard yourself with everything that has to do with the truth, with salvation, with the word of God. He's not asking you to do other things that you are doing. The Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body to God a living sacrifice. That is your reasonable service. He says, do be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't be conformed to this world that you may know what is the good will of God. You want to know what is the acceptable will of God. You want to know what is the perfect will of God. I'm reading Romans or quoting from Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Guard your heart diligently. All things are lawful. Everything is okay, but not all things are expedient. Not everything is defiant. Not everything is helping you. Consecrate yourself. That's what we are doing. We are waiting on the Lord so we can mount up with wings as the eagles. We want to run so we are not weary and want to walk so we do not faint. We want to hear from the throne of God. And so we want to, you know, move in the spirit all through that season. For those of you that are joining me, please just say yay to everything I'm saying. You want to do the 40-day fast and 
on the 40th day, which happens to be December 10, we will be bringing in our first fruits. And then afterward, we will go into leadership school, whereby you are equipped with the word of God for the new season, for the new move in your own life uh, so that you are not running on another man's track the worst thing that can happen to anybody to is to run a race and get to the mark the finished line and discover that you have been disqualified that will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible speaking in the book of Mark 16, it says anyone that believes and is baptized shall be saved. And it says in my name, they will speak with new tongues. This promise has been made to you and to your children. That's what the book says in Acts of Apostles chapter 2. It is not for certain people. It is a gift of God, yes, but it is meant to, you're meant to use it to edify yourself. If you're born again and you're not baptized or if you're not born again, this is a time to, you know, go to God and say, Father, I am here. And if you want to do that right now, so you're baptized in the Holy goes after what now it is a sign for those who believe it is not it is not for anybody it is the sign that follows those that believe and so you have to believe first you have to believe that Christ died for your sin you have to believe that he rose from the dead and then you receive him into your heart if you want to do that now just repeat this prayer after me dear Lord Jesus I acknowledge that I'm a sinner, but today I repent of my sin. Come into my heart, Lord, and be my savior. I believe in my heart that you died on the cross of Calvary and on the third day you rose from the dead. And today I receive into my heart, be my Lord and be my savior in Jesus' name. You have Christ inside of you, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, but now you want to be immersed into God. Now you have God in you. It's time for you now to be filled with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice that I've received you today in the name of Jesus and those that are already born again. Lord, I thank you for the gift of salvation and Lord, thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that you baptize them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want I want you to open your mouth right now and begin to pray in the spirit. Your mind is not productive. Just speak as the spirit gives you utterance in the name of Jesus. Kaliya ne mama zandro bo shekeli le ke baba zandro bo shekeliya rama shekeli le ke baba zandro bo shekeli le baba sande ke li le basa ki ali baba sandi ala baba le mama shekeli baba open your mouth as God fills you right now with the power of the Spirit and begin to speak in the name of Jesus. Speak in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and you will fill it up right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak. Re mama shekeli le baba sandi ya. If you're already baptized in the Holy Spirit and you speak in tongues, I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit rainbo shake le ke bobo sendro bobo sende raka sandro bo shake le ke bobo sande kali le bobo sandro bo shake le bobo laki hali le bobo sande robobo zaki al laki sandro bo shake le le bobo ye ke li le bobo sandro bobo zaki le bobo rama zahi ali hi mo zahi hi he bo zahi ali he li bobo sande kali le bobo shake le he yo bobo sanda kali le bobo sandro bo shake le ke bobo sande father we thank you lord we give you all the praise in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. I want you to always take time out every day to pray in the spirit. You're in your car, you're in the bathroom. Just open your mouth and begin to pray. Remember, the spirit of the Lord knows the mind of God. He is helping you to pray with groans that you cannot understand. 
but God understand what the spirit is saying. So I want you not to let the devil take over the interpretation of tongues from you to tell you you're talking, you know, gibberish that you're talking nonsense. No, he does not want you to speak the mind of God concerning you. When you begin to pray in the spirit, you are praying mysteries. You're praying unknown tongues. You're praying the mind of God, not just for your life sometimes you're praying for someone that is about to be killed somewhere so anytime you have the urge to pray in the holy spirit just begin to pray just make sure that every no day passes that you do not pray in the spirit for at least one hour and i know that your life will never 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 remain the same remember keep praying you know for the fasting that the, the devil will not divert your attention he will not destroy to you what it does is whenever it start with we're about to fast things always happen ask those at GLCC <laughs> something will just happen to distract people you will hear somebody is ill somewhere and then you'll say you can fast wherever you find yourself make sure that you're fasting make sure that you're praying in the spirit and make sure that you're joining us in prayer I want to tell those in West Africa that because of um, um, the the light um savings the time is going to change to right now it's 11 30 west african time watch out it's going to turn to 12 30 west african time so when you come at 11 30 and you don't see me it means that it's now 12 30 and so don't think oh she didn't come today no I am on board. I will always be on board. The devil cannot stop me. All I needed to do is keep praying for me one minute every day. The God will keep me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Pray for my children. Like I said, he likes to distract. Pray for my family. The God will keep us together. And I want you to also pray for this prayer altar. Pray for the fasting. Don't just pray for yourself. Pray for everyone that will be on call for 40 days to call on the name of the Lord so that the will of God be done in our lives the will of God be done in our land the will of God be done in our family say in the name of Jesus uh, we will do it and the gate of hell will not prevail against us pray for this prayer altar please always pray that God will keep us in the name of Jesus I love you so much and I want you to remember that after you know listening to the book universal laws of success and achievement we're going to a beautiful heart is on my app just flicky app just click on the beautiful heart and begin to pray I know with it i also want us to know that we are reading the book of matthew mark luke and john and the book of acts of apostles all through the fasting season and after the fasting we're going to be doing a seven day discipleship school by all means the new year must give way and you will walk into it doing your the will of god for your life you will walk in god's purpose for your life in the mighty name of jesus i love you love you love you love you i'll see you same time tomorrow god bless you amen and amen